Well now. Hmm? Said well now. This is a little different episode that we're gonna do today. No trailer, no softball. But what we do have So the plan is we're going to canoe down the Chehalis River. We're here in Centralia, Washington, and we're going to go all the way down to Grace Harbor into uh, either Montesano or Cosmopolis, Washington. It should take us a couple days. It's time to begin. I feel it in my skin. This change in the wind telling me to live again. There's a world full of wonder I've never seen before. I'm staring out an open door I don't want this anymore It's time to be free Time to believe I got my plan apart But the rest is up to me And I know it won't be easy But it needs to be done Cause you never know what's just around the bend Saying where my story ends miles? I don't know. Maybe 60 miles? We don't know. We're gonna paddle our butts off. Somebody didn't make it. This is what happens when you let your dad play Sea of Thieves too much. Right? think looks like it it's just a hawk he's looking for breakfast what he's doing 
There's a big nest up here in this. Uh... Oh yeah, he does. Just get away from my, my catch. There's a big nest right there. Huh? It's a big nest right there. Yeah, and there's a bird in it. I know. Huh? That's his mate, probably. So this is the one thing about boating on the Chehalis, is you never know where you're gonna run into low spots, right? right. This is one of them. All right. Almost. It's a nice little spot to take a break here for a minute. Make some adjustments. I don't know how many miles we've gone so far. How many do you think? Could guesstimate. I'd say we've gone at least eight miles. Hi. Hello. Well, we've, going? we've already tipped the canoe over once. Did you really? Yeah. Did you keep all your stuff dry? I'm just kidding. We didn't tip it over. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. I don't know, six, seven miles maybe, maybe eight. I can look on uh, like 360. It'll tell you how many miles I've gone? You are in Ford's Prairie. When you hit a sharp bend in the river, that's, that's Grand Mount. Okay. It looks doable. Just on the left side, there's a rock that you got to be careful of. If you... Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, but there's one right, right in the center, off to the left of center. You just got to watch out for it. It's underwater. So, I think we should be all right. My famous last words. Huh? That's what I was trying to tell you about. But did you die? But did you die? But did you die? <laughs> Take us right into the bank. Update We've uh, made it to Grand Mound which is, I don't even know how many miles we've gone. It's been a lot. It's, uh, we started at 
7.30 and it's 11.21 and we made it to Grand Mount. We gotta head towards Rochester and Oakville. How are your arms doing? Pretty good. I might have to have a lead for my back when you get that. We got a ways to go. We gotta at least paddle 25 miles today. Seen lots of wildlife though. Saw two beaver, four otters, whole bunch of Canadian geese. Three deer, two of them, two, uh, two little uh, yearlings swam the river. Two little fawns swam the river at us, and then mom was like, you morons. She sat there on the bank and watched them pacing back and forth, like, what are you doing? It was pretty funny. We've only seen three human beings since we've uh, left. <laughs> That's three too many. So I could see somebody's house though, that's too close. All right, we'll update you later. Catching on to us. Go, all squadrons, go, 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 go. <laughs> it's lunchtime. <laughs> Pringles. That's all we're having. All right, river update. It's uh, 2.50. We are now just entering the Chehalis Tribal Reservation land, which means we gotta get through this land before we can make camp, because we're not allowed to uh, go to shore on the reservation. So, we've been paddling now for uh, a long time. Oh yeah, there's a woman out here picking berries. So anyways, we got a ways to go. Well, I'd say this has been the worst walk so far. This has been the worst walk, river walk. We've had to go about 50 yards now to this it's really slippery, slimy rock. All right, push her out. Push her out. That is slick. Hopefully we don't have to do that again today. We finally took him by surprise. Inquisition. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Got a log snag up here, so steer out of it. Well, this is the fun part about floating rivers. Is uh, the river changes from season to season, depending on the, on the storm season. So that way, it's just too dangerous to go through with the canoe and we can't line it through. So that way over there, we're gonna, we can line it down the one side and paddle the rest of the way out. And then we gotta line it again because it's too shallow. Woo.
Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. It's getting too hard. Well, I think we found our spot for the night. So we're setting up a bear trap. Not a bear trap, just a bear alarm, right? Yeah. We got some uh, cider cans full of rocks. I'll show you what why I'm a little concerned. That's all tracks. All tracks. Some of these are ours. And then there's blackberry bushes right here. And then there's those paw prints. Can't really see those, but it's a nice little game trail here. So something comes through here. Hopefully it just will stop the blackberries, but I doubt that. We've been paddling for 12 hours and this is the only spot we could find. We were on the Chehalis Tribal Reservation for most of the trip and you can't camp or fish or do anything on the reservation unless you're a member. So here we are, we're setting up. It is uh, 8.24. So we put in the water a little over 13 hours ago. We're gonna cook some dinner, boil some water. <laughs> I know he's shaking a pot at me. <laughs> you can put whatever, water soup, ravioli. Okay, we're setting up camp. Got the tent up. We are making bear alert because there's a blackberry bush there and bear tracks that go right through the camp. All right, I had to switch my GoPro battery out. Some of this is gonna have to be in 1080. Sorry. Cooking food over here. Got some raviolis going. They're getting there. Anyways, we're gonna get ready to check out for the night. <clears throat> Dad's putting the bear alert up. No, this is their clothesline. No, clothesline. We had to get out and walk the river about 12 times. My wife got me for this uh, set for Christmas. <clears throat> Thanks, Michelle, about five years ago. It's the first time I've used it. It's part of my bug out kit. It seems to be working. I'll show you guys the view. So this is the Chehalis. We probably did, what, 25 miles a day? 25 to 30 miles we just did. And that right there is our, uh, it's our front porch. Well, that's our front porch. But that's our view. May the bears beware. beware. Is that the outside screen or the inside screen? I don't know. I bought a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I used this tent was the day we said, let's buy a trailer.
Andy 27? Brand name. Oh. So this is the part that sucks. This is the part that sucks. We loaded everything up nice and tight this morning. Made it five, 10 minutes down the river and I got that. We can't carry it because it weighs about 650 pounds. We got the canoe over this stupid log. Now we're repacking it like we did half an hour ago when we left camp. Finally back on the river. An update. How long did that take? About 20 minutes? Half hour? Well, somebody missed the highway. <laughs> that car is that? It's like some sort of wagon. Five of them. Five or six. That was cool. Otters. We're going that way. The current's pretty quick. There's a some rocks, rocky edges. It looks like it's deep cut, and it's runs pretty fast along the deep cut of the rock, so we're going to want to stay to the right. So we want to stay to right, but we want to stay here. Exactly, you'll see the you'll see the wall, the rock wall I'm talking about, the, the cut in the river. You want to go that way, that way. I'd say if you're gonna plan a river trip like we did, if you don't have any experience, I wouldn't recommend it. Have some experience. If you don't have experience, 
find someone who does or get yourself a river guide because if you don't know what you're doing out here it's really easy to capsize and knock yourself over and lose everything all your camping gear and everything in the water plan everything out be safe you see we've always got our life jackets on we've planned this whole route out for months I would say if you're gonna do something like this don't just go buy a canoe pack some gear into it and go hit your river if you don't know the river get a guide my dad and I we've got what 37 years of experience in canoeing just you and me my dad's got way more probably 60 plus years of canoeing <laughs> 50 years, 50. I don't want to date him too bad. He's only 74. <laughs> Not bad for a 74 year old. One, two, three, four. By day two, my dad and I ended up encountering strong winds. We never made it to the destination we wanted to but the time we spent together was priceless. In just two days, we did 47 miles on the Chehalis River. We went from Lewis County to Grays Harbor County. Although we never made it to our final destination, Friends Landing in Montesano, I wouldn't trade this trip for anything in the world. My dad and I had done plenty of canoe trips together, but we hadn't done one since I was at least 13 years old. I will tell you this, it was quite the relief to see my family waiting for me at the boat launch. It was a long day, and we were tired. It was time to go home. You want to know how geese feel when they fly out away? <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like... You guys the arm part? A bird that's just flown home from the winter. <laughs> <laughs>